Hello friends, this is Abdul Kapoor uh, with the teaching and learning uh, channel. Uh, today in pedagogy lesson we'll be talking about the positive and negative reinforcement. So let's see what are the positive and uh, negative reinforcement. Okay. Uh, before going to the lesson, uh, I'll tell you the in simple words the reinforcement means encourage or encouragement or motivation so the positive and negative encouragement okay and how these both reinforcement they are changing the behaviors of someone suppose you are the teacher so your positive reinforcement can change the behavior of the student and your negative reinforcement can also change the or remove the uh, dislikes or negative uh, actions from the student. So these are the uh, vice versa. In simple words, we can say that the positive reinforcement is likeness and the negative reinforcement is the dislikeness let's see the further in the next slide okay here the definition of the reinforcement positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement first positive reinforcement is used to help increase the probability that will be happen in the future means suppose you are going to appreciate your student in the classroom that means the result and effect and impact okay will appear or will change in his or her behavior which will be reflecting in the future this is the positive and he she will be delivering accordingly Similarly, negative reinforcement. If you are removing something negative from student's personality, even it will be also affecting on the behavior and that will be delivered into the future. So that will be reflection of the student. So reinforcement means to increase the probability that a specific behavior will occur in the future by delivering or removing now here stimulus now the stimulus in a simple word something uh, something evoking something uh, you know a reaction a sudden reaction okay suppose somebody is you know a pinching you okay what type of the reaction you have okay this is called the stimulus stimulus and if you are getting a lot of money, okay, suddenly you got a rich, okay, and that that's a reaction, okay, that's a work, okay. So this is, you know, a stimulus, okay, which is immediately after a behavior, okay. So I'll be telling you how. So the positive reinforcement works by presenting or motivating. In simple words, positive reinforcement means appreciation, motivation. To the person after the desire is exhibited, exhibit something is displayed. Okay. For example, a student answered to your question, and you appreciate it. Okay. Definitely, it will change his behavior. Okay. In future, he or she will think. That she is getting appreciation. So, what will be the change in the behavior? She will or he will be participating more than trust of you know for his participation, involvement in the subject and course will be more, will be double. This because of the appreciation. This is called positive reinforcement while you are encouraging the student. It can be in a normal, your child, your son, your friend, or anybody, okay. It's a human nature while you are appreciating somebody definitely there's a change is okay 
So it changes in the reflection of. Negative occurs when a certain stimulus. So uh, here, stimulus means aversive. Something is disliked. Okay, I'm smoking. That's a disliked. Okay, I have to remove. Okay, but there should be a something. You know, a particular behavior should be accepted. So how I'll be telling you? Okay, I hate someone's habit. Okay, for example, you know, uh, keep sneezing, keep laughing. Uh, using some, you know, the common words and all these things. I don't like, okay, that's not. There are some, uh, you know, that the sometimes, you know, suddenly, okay, pushing on the door, okay, knocking on the table, pinching off the, uh, you know, the pain. These are the something, you know, the negative, aversive, okay, which is we disliked, okay, and need to be removed, okay. So, these behaviors, okay, when these accepted or something are displayed, okay, in front of the people okay there's a sudden reaction okay so for that we need a behavior first in order to change or remove the certain stimulus let's see how i'll be giving you examples now now first example as i mentioned that the positive reinforcement i can say these both are vice versa positive reinforcement means changing behavior by reinforcing stimulus while changing the behavior by reinforcement while you are encouraging okay a certain action certain reaction or while you are removing something okay while you are appreciating somebody okay that is the positive example a mother gives her son praise this is a reinforcing means something you know is encouraging you it's not an aversive. Aversive will be in the negative. Reinforcing. It's a encouraging. So while you are praising, so it means there is something evoked, something an action, something reaction, and that reaction caused and results change in the behavior. Widespread for doing homework. The result is the homework. The changes in the homework. The little boy receives five dollars. Okay, that's a reinforcing. Similarly, it's a appreciation. So it can be money, it can be words, it can be in a different ways. Okay, for every A, yes, it's an encouragement. Okay, it's a reaction. What will be the response? Change in the behavior. So student will start working hard and all these things. Okay, there's a reward. So that reward is an a reinforcement which cause to change the behavior. Father gives his daughter candy reinforcement for cleaning up toys. Okay. So it's a changing in the behavior. So every encourage, okay, reinforcement stimulus, okay, a certain reaction or something, okay, which is gonna cause the changes in the behavior. So there are the, some positive, okay, um, you can say encouragement, motivation, appreciation. So, as a teacher, as a parent, as a mother, as a brother and sister, what strategies you are applying in order to change someone's behavior, you can think about it. Okay. Now, a negative reinforcement while you are removing aversive means negative stimulus, okay, results change in the behavior. So, here first the behavior and then will be the reaction, okay. For, for example, Ali did the homework, this is the behavior what he want to change to stop mother's nagging so means a behavior which cause of removing the negative impact negative action so once he will be doing the homework what will be removed stop mother's nagging she will not be nagging anymore so that's the future okay our uh, reflection similarly Students always participate in the class behavior. Why they want to participate in the class, okay, and what they want to because to stop failing in the exams. They want to eliminate to stop failing. So this will be removed. So that behavior gonna change elimination or change, you know, the failing. That's also reflection. Ronaldo plays well behavior. Okay, to stop public criticism. So, all the players, they are trying to play well. 
that's a their behavior so okay why they want to okay because to stop criticism they are eliminating this criticism okay so similarly these are the actions that how the behavior is going to eliminate remove the dislikeness or the changes okay of the behaviors okay so i hope uh, guys you enjoyed the lesson and you understood the positive and negative reinforcement what are these and what are the example of the positive and negative reinforcement okay in upcoming lessons i'll be telling you about you know the punishments okay and the difference between you know the negative reinforcement and uh, the punishment okay with the interrelations of the classroom okay even your daily life while you're uh, you know your mother your parent okay uh, you can easily understand okay or uh, what is the role of the punishment and how the negative reinforcement okay and there's what is the difference between negative reinforcement and punishment so if you didn't uh, like and describe my channel okay don't forget to uh, describe uh, uh, my channel for more videos okay thank you so much we'll be meeting in the next lesson thank you so much and uh, till that uh, bye